Well, another tightly contested Northeast Conference battle this afternoon in Brooklyn as the St. Francis Terriers found a way to beat the Bryan Bulldogs. I thought it was an excellent contested game. It was very defensively. Both teams were working hard on the defensive end. There was a lot of strategy involved in this game. Coach Tim O'Shea made an adjustment halfway through the second half, going from zone to man to man that really helped his cause. And then Brian Nash, who hadn't played much zone at all, was down six points with four and a half minutes to go in the game. And oftentimes, hardly anybody would ever think to go zone then. He then goes to his zone, but it was a trapping, aggressive zone, and it really confounded Bryant and made it very difficult for them to get any kind of offense. They turned the ball away, and then they got their offense going to St. Francis, especially Coyote Ayane. His ability to take the ball off the bounce aggressively, get to the free throw line, made 12 free throws in the game. I thought he was outstanding. He is back, and that's really going to make a difference for St. Francis. I also thought they got excellent performance from Stefan Perunovic early in the game with his three-point shooting. Ricky Cadell struggled, but he made a big, big basket late. I thought he showed some mental toughness, and Akeem Bennett is a player for everybody in the Northeast Conference to keep an eye on. He's a do-it-all guard who can do just a ton. Bryant, now they didn't win the game. But the future is bright in Rhode Island. Popolo on the interior, what a shot blocking presence he is. He is terrific and I thought there was a very heroic performance by Cecil Gresham in this game. He's had knee issues, he has, his shoulder has been, he's got an ace bandage on his shoulder, but he found a way to play, contributed at 19 points, made shots, and tried to really lift the Bryant Bulldogs to a victory. Again, congratulations to St. Francis with a great effort. Thought there was a lot of strategy, a lot of execution late in this game, and it was a whole lot of fun to watch.